we're literally at the border point. Uh, we're at that point where your mobile phone stops working, and uh, luckily there is seemingly a internet hotspot here. It's not particularly fast or anything, but at least it's here. Um, so, new system came into place today in Ukraine, so that if you're bringing uh, humanitarian aid into the country, you had to be registered with a uh, Ukrainian charity, which we are. Um, and it's not enough just to have a bit of letterhead of paper with uh, registration number on, charity re registration number and things, with uh, an itinerary of all the stuff you've got with you, which we have. Um, that's not enough anymore because now they've decided that you've got to put all that stuff, or they have to put all that stuff on a government website, and then they're given a code of two letters and four numbers, and we have to give that code in to the guys here at the border. So we got to the border about three hours ago. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we, we sailed through everything because there was no one here this morning, very early. We went straight through uh, Polish passport control, customs, came onto the Ukrainian side. We got stamped into the country, no problem. And then the lady's like, uh, customs, and we're like, okay. Guy opened up the back, he scanned our documents that we've got, uh, our itinerary, our letter from the bit early in the morning for a special brew. I think we've actually got a beer down here somewhere. We're not drinking and driving, but it's, uh, oh no, it's in the back. It's for later. Um, but yeah, <laughs> but yeah, they, they, they had a look in the back and they scanned our documents and we thought, oh cool, yeah, we'll get through. We'll get... And then a guy came over and he said, no, we need this code. And so now we're talking to the charity that we're working with here in Ukraine. They're trying to get a code for us. That's not working because the government website isn't working. Don't you love bureaucracy? Um, and as a result, yeah, I'm, I'm just sitting here. Adam and Frank have gone to, there's an office here where you can print out documents. So they're going down to there. And what we might do is we might declare that this is all our personal goods. You know, like when you used to be able to go to Calais before Brexit and you could fill up a van full of champagne and come back and you don't have to pay any tax on it? Paid days. Nowadays, you can only do that with um, four and a half bottles of champagne. That's the limit. Four and a half bottles. Have a great wedding. Um, blame your grandparents for the fact that there's no sh no champagne. Uh, not all old people. Not all not all grandparents voted for Brexit, obviously. Uh, but but um, yeah, I, there's my stamp. Oh, sorry, that. There's my stamp there into Ukraine uh, today. And funny enough, they're my old stamps into Ukraine when I came here in 2017. So, you know, it's not my first rodeo or trip to Ukraine. Um, and actually, last time I came, it was a bit of a nightmare because it was a, a border that didn't allow pedestrians. So I had to sort of catch a lift in someone's car to get through the border. Just some random person. I'm like, can I get in your car? They're like, yeah, sure, get in the car. Just sat in their car. Um, that was in the middle of summer, so it was quite warm. Uh, hello, Lee. Hello, hello, 91 Lee. Hello, Uncle Heavy and Colin Baker and Jup James and, and uh, Richard and also Dynamo and Peter and uh, Jan and lots of other people. Um, oh, do we, have, do we have people coming back? So I might have to cut this special brew short at any point. How's it going? I'm, I'm doing my show. Do want, what, what's happening? It's okay, just go. No, just tell us what's happening. I've been explaining. They said we should just go. Really? Yeah, they said rather, <laughs> are the gifts more than a particular value? And I yeah. said, no. Let me just go. Okay, cool. All right, well, sorry about this. We've been sitting here for no reason for two hours. <laughs> I said that we might have to turn this off at any point. Right, we're going to lose signal as soon as I move away. So I'm going to say to our now. Keep an eye out on the Labour Social channel. When we get to Lviv, we're going to be doing a new show uh, in, in Lviv. So if you want to watch that, you won't get much notice. If you want to watch it live, make sure that you are subscribed and that you uh, have tapped the bell notification icon. Right, guys, That's we're good, good to go. We're good Let's to go. go. All right, give us a thumbs up. <laughs> we're, we're, 